afternoon, Leah. Well, good afternoon, John Yaney. How are you doing today? I'm great. Well, let's make your day better and create some great news for the students and teachers here at NHS. Let's do it. The Art Institute will be visiting our school next Friday, March 6th, during AL. You must sign up by March 4th if you plan on attending. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Stenson. To sign up, log into Naviance, click on the Colleges tab, then click the link under Upcoming College Visits. Hope to see you there. Due to the two-hour delay last Friday, the internship meeting was not held. This meeting will be held on Monday, March 2nd during AL in the Media Center. Please request a pass from Mrs. Wiersema if you want to learn more about the program. The next BFF AL party is today from 1.35 to 2.15 in the West Auxiliary Gym. Please request a pass from Mrs. Sculthorpe on Passwiz. If you are interested in Fashion Club, shout out Bailey Pinsky and would like to attend the meeting today at 1.35, you should approve Mrs. Butt's Canvas invitation to join. Fashion Club, this page will provide you with more information on how to get an invite to the meeting. If you are a current member and didn't receive a Canvas invitation, visit Ms. Butts in room 1254. Attention all moviegoers and man oglers. Mr. Noble's Will DVDs will be sold in the main office for $5. There is a limited supply, so get yours now. Powderpuff DVDs will be sold as well. Squad. OP. You hear it in the hallways of NHS, but what is everybody saying? Grace Dean, Ethan Case, and Christiana Howell of NHS News takes a look at the slang being used by students and what this might mean. An epidemic has broken out at NHS. And no, it's not Ebola. It's slang. High schoolers everywhere are becoming more and more enthralled with teen language, and NHS sophomore Maddie Bax elaborates on its personal meaning. Uh, my favorite slang term is IKR, which stands for I know, right? Well, I use slang terms because I guess it's just a quick and easy way to say something that would take more time. But it's, I guess it's kind of stupid. Where's the biggest part? Slang use is impacting the connection between teachers and students as well. They were talking about a character that had an inner conflict with jealousy. And they were using the word jelly. And I had no idea what was going on in the classroom for approximately 60 seconds. <laughs> so it was a little bit embarrassing. I was like, what? And they were saying jelly. And, um, you see like texting lingo, okay, that happens quite often, which is extremely frustrating. According to Mrs. Darlington, our evolving culture plays a major role in the speech of teenagers today. Yeah, he like talks to you. You know, a lot of kids watch videos and YouTube and um, music and all of that sort of media that kids are exposed to way, way more than probably adults are. I think a lot of it comes from that, sort of the culture. Of... The atmosphere at NHS is constantly changing due to the media its students absorb. And for right now, using slang is the new norm. For NHS News, this is Grace Dean, Ethan Case, and Christiana Howe. That was great, Leah. It was, John. Now let's send it over to birthdays, lunch lunches, and sports with Isaac and Kinsey. Sounds great. See you, NHS.
Kenzie, my friend, how good is your jump shot? Isaac, it's just not that good. How's yours? Well, see, I mean, it's all right, but it's not as good as my dad's. It's just, his is just smooth, just silk. Just have that snap when it goes through the net. It's beautiful. Isaac, that really sounds like a great time. But now we got to focus on our sports. That's true. Let's get into it. <laughs> Attention wrestlers, awards night is on Thursday, March 5th at 6.30 in the Junior Senior Cafe. Check the website for more information. Also, spring wrestling begins practice from 3 to 4.30 in the wrestling room. One more thing, do not forget to turn in your uniforms and other equipment back to Mr. Knott's ASAP. The Lady Miller Gymnastics team competed against Marion High School Tuesday night and tumbled right past Marion with the team's highest score of the season of 97.35 to Marion's 93.75. Anna Doris had her season high scoring, tonight, uh, scoring Monday on vault with her 8.9. Caitlin Murray also had a team high score for herself on vault with an 8.6. Both Ronnie Van Burskirk and Emma Taylor did well on vault, both scoring an 8.5. Esma Taylor led the way for the Millers on the floor with a score of 8.5. Emily Denham had her highest score of the season with a score of 8.45. Anna Doris remains consistent with her score of 8.325. Maddie Van Burskirk improved her bar score, helping out the team with her bar score 7.9. Both Ronnie Van Burskirk and Esma Taylor had great all-around scores the Monday night, as Esma had her season high score and her all-around score of 32.425. The next competition will be this will be tomorrow, as the team and the regular season is in the East Middle School versus Bloomington South at 6:30. Be sure to congratulate my friend, senior Ian Medley, for making it to the finals in the Fishers Dive Regional last night. But you just missed moving on to state. Wonderful. Great job, Ian. Well, NHS, that's all the sports we have for you today. You aren't that bad of an anchor, Kenzie. I'm impressed. Thanks, Isaac. I try. I know you do. And don't please don't forget to follow us follow your NHS newsroom on Twitter and Instagram at NHS Newsroom. Please do, you will not be disappointed. Have, have an awesome Thursday, NHS. I've told you a thousand times. The gold mine coffee shop is now We're offering dozens of items, including hot chocolate, tea, and coffee. We're adding to them consistently. So, come in and get it while it's hot. Like this. Innovations is once in a lifetime opportunity and it's something that I've never even thought about doing. So we're working on a beauty campaign called Heart of the Matter and what we're doing is accessing social media accounts and the power of the web to create challenges for teenage girls to embrace who they are. I just really wanted the experience and to do something that I loved and had a passion for but also to make a difference in the world and not just myself but in those around us. It's kind of like one of those self-empowerment courses. You you know you have the power to do it yourself, but this class just makes it more obvious. My name is Mr. Wetrick, and I'm over the innovations class. Basically what I wanted to do is have a learning lab type of environment where this is a space where you get to learn the things that you really wanted to learn. Basically, if you had the time and the equipment, what kind of things would you want to accomplish? Uh, there's a misnomer that you have to do all things tech, but that's not true. But a lot of it is based on innovation and entrepreneurship. You want to start your own business, this is the place to do it. You want to start learning how to put together an event, this is the place to do it. Whatever you're really passionate about, really, we're here to help. Well, the club's a good stepping stone. It gives you sort of an idea of what the class is all about and gives you a, a basically a little touch into what we do. 